Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing an unboxing for the HGUC XS Gundam. So this is obviously an older HD kit. This is from 2002 actually, so pretty old one. I got this for a very specific reason, not just because I'm a fan of the design of the XS Gundam, which I definitely am, but I got this because I recently got and reviewed that uh, Frame Arms Architect frame, and I had the idea of putting that into a Gundam and uh, or into a different kit, and I thought this would be a good candidate for that because this is an old HUC kit, and although I really like the uh, XS Gundam, uh, this kit is definitely a little bit dated, the articulation is not that great, and I think it's that's a lot of is due to the design, but I think a lot of it can be improved uh, by adding a frame into this kit. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to be kit bashing this uh, with that frame arms frame. But uh, anyway, I'll I'll just uh, unbox this kit and do a review of this kit first for you guys. So here is the front of the box. Obviously, just you have the Gundam there, and then here on the side we can see this is number 29 in the HGUC line. So yeah, it's going back pretty far. On this side here we can see the front and back of the kit. Also the proportions of this kit I think are not actually that great, so might uh, try to fix that a little bit as well. Uh, a little bit of information there about the mobile suit, and uh, there's the stats there in Japanese. On this side we've got a few just information uh, pictures about the different gimmicks. It has the backpack, it has the beam smart gun, it has the beam saber, which I know is there's no effect part for that, it's just all white. Uh, and then all of this here going on, there's what the Gundam is going to look like. That's its <laughs> excuse for an action pose there. Barely, 2500 this is actually one of the more expensive HGUC kits, uh, especially early on. This was uh, definitely a pricier one, so 2500 yen for this. Uh, right out of the box, very Gundam colors there, uh, blue, red, and yellow. I can see I have a few extra poly caps in there as well. Uh, again, just more gray parts here. We have some stickers. This kit uh, includes some marking stickers, interestingly enough. Uh, more parts for the backpack there, so that's all probably new parts. Uh, polycaps, white parts. I know a lot of this kit is basically the same as the S Gundam, which was released before this. Uh, so a lot of this is probably going to be from the S, and then it's just got some new parts for the XS. So uh, it's all white. That looks like, um, I don't know. We'll take a closer look at the runners in a moment, of course. So just uh, going through this, there's gray parts there. Sorry for knocking the camera. All right, so here's our typical HGUC style manual here, nice big reference photo here on the front, so you can see that. Um, there's all those stats there now in uh, English here, we have the in uh, income there on the head, Vulcans, uh, backpack beam cannons, those are there, four of those, the waist beam cannons, two on the side there. Uh, beam Saber, we've got two of those. Beam Smart Gun, we've got that big one there. Stabilizer Vulcan, that's Vulcans on the stabilizer on the backpack. Reflector Income, those are in the knees. And the Eye Field Generator is uh, right here in the chest. So there's that. Uh, then here, just all the same kind of stuff we saw on the outside of the box there, and the color guide there at the bottom. On the inside here, another nice big photo for you, reference, and a lot of information there if you can read that Japanese. More photos here, as we've got, oh, sorry, kind of fighting with the manual here. Uh, more about the Gundam there, and then here, uh, more artwork there, nice artwork there. That's the artwork that's used on the outside of the box, but now we have the full version of that, as well as some nice line art there. Uh, and then here, about the story, so these are the EFSF mobile suits from the Sentinel story, and then here about the new Decidus, uh, there's these Echoines. Unfortunately, that was the only uh, enemy suit released from the Sentinel. It's not too many, actually, just different versions of these Echoines, basically. Uh, so here we have our parts list, as you can see, quite a lot on there. Uh, we are going to be using pretty much everything. It looks like there's a couple parts there. I'm guessing those are from the S Gundam. So that's the, what's, what's why uh, a few parts here also we're not going to use. So again, just guessing those are all from the S Gundam, probably. Construction is going to start off with the arms first. So we're building the arms there, pretty simple. Left arm, right arm. And then the legs. 
Oh no, there's the head there as well, just quite simple, just a few short little steps. Uh, the legs, and then moving on to the waist, and then the torso, and then the backpack, and then the beam smart gun, the uh, beam cannons on the side skirts, and then kind of extra pieces there, and then putting it all together and then just mounting the weapons and all that stuff there at the bottom. So, all right, let's get a look at these runners. All right, so first up is our foil stickers here. We've got the stickers there for the eyes there, obviously. Yeah, okay, that's one sticker. At first I thought it was two stickers, but just because it's a very strange angle, I think just because, just because the shape of the face, it's quite an odd shape for that eye sticker. These uh, silver like lining sticker there, uh, those are going on the shoulders, and then that green sticker, that's another camera sticker that's gonna be going in on the chest part. Then we've got some marking stickers here. I'm not going to use these, uh, so I'll hang on to these, I guess, for the time being and uh, find something to do with these later. we got PC123 here. Actually, just recently used this for the bear guy. Pretty, but uh, anyway, these are molded in just a darker gray. You don't really see polycaps in this color too much anymore. Then we also have runner PC15 for a few more polycaps, two of those. Then runner A is a typical A runner here. We have four colors. Dark gray, blue, yellow, red, all just very standard Gundam colors here. Then runner B, uh, it's just all white here. We just got more parts there for the head and then uh, tail stabilizer, backpack parts, all that kind of stuff on here. Uh, this runner, like with the A runner, is marked just for the HGUC S Gundam, so nothing specific to the XS yet. Then runner C is back to this very dark gray. Again, uh, this is a dark gray color that we don't actually see too much anymore these days. Bandai switched to using a lighter color gray. But uh, anyway, here we've got the weapons parts, hands, and uh, a few different things on there. Runner D here, and now we have our first runner specifically for the XS Gundam. So just parts on there for here, there, and everywhere. Everything's all kind of mixed up here. You can see the beam sabers there just all molded like that. Just to give you a look at the runner marking. You can see 144 scale HGUC S Gundam. Oops, actually, okay, that is S Gundam, but then we can see down here, I think this portion of the runner is HGUC XS, so anyway, okay, this section here is new. All right, the runner E, still more white parts, and these are definitely all new parts for the XS Gundam. So this is basically all the new leg parts, and then we can see new parts there for the chest and the front skirt as well. And runner F, another multicolored runner here, and uh, we have a couple white parts, one kind of orangish, kind of it's like character yellow, orange color for the front skirt, a few red parts there for the incoms on the knees, and then uh, more gray parts for new parts. Uh, well, I guess that's, yeah, new parts there. And then runner G, more gray parts here. This is just all parts for the backpack, for the booster, so we have two of this G runner. And finally, runner H, just more white parts. These are for the these are the new parts for the beam cannons on the backpack, uh, and we have two of this H runner as well. All right, so that's it for unboxing the HUC XS Gundam. Uh, I've built the Master Grade XS actually a long time ago. And that's a, that's a heap of a kit, if anyone's ever built it, you know. Uh, the HG though, I've never built this before, so I'm looking forward to checking this out. Like I said, I'll do just a regular out-of-box review for you guys first, before I start to work on that, so you'll see more of this uh, after the review coming up pretty shortly. So anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.